What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, this is a team I've been meaning to use for a while on the channel. It's a team that I think is pretty solid and I don't know what happens. I, I've tried to record this video like three times now. What'll happen is I'll just sit around, play with the team randomly and like win every match. And then I'll click record and all of a sudden the team becomes awful. But Maybe today's the day I get it right. Anyways, uh, this team is revolving around Archeops with a choice band. Basically what I wanted to do was throw Archeops onto Weezing Regigigas. Um, and what, Re what Weezing Regigigas likes to do is just punch holes in the opponent's defenses and then clean up with some really powerful hyper offensive Pokemon like Specs, Regieleki, and in, the, in this case, choice band Archeops. Another thing that you know, helps out Archeops is the fact that Intimidate doesn't exist when Weezing is on lead. So I can actually pretty safely lead off Archeops and go for a U-turn into Regigigas if need be. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite fossil Pokemon? I'm a big fan of Archeops, but I have to say Armaldo just barely edges them out for me. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I'm going to be streaming tonight at like 5, 5.30, and I'm going to be using a uh, very fun Azuril. Not an Azumarill, Azuril. You'll see. Just check out the stream, and I'll do it. Oh, I should probably break down the team. Uh, Choice Band, Archeops, uh, Shookaberry, Weezing, Regigigas, blah, blah, blah. You can look at it. You know what's going on. All right, let's do it. Hopefully, this time, I'll be able to actually pick up some Ws. Because, like, last night, I was just hanging out in a Discord server with me and my buddies, and I was winning matches. It was all cool, but then I, now I'm like, I'm going to record and I guarantee I'm going to win like one. All right. Um, I feel pretty comfortable just leading off with, I want to go wheezing Regigigas on lead in the back here. I can actually pack the Archeops for once trick room ends. Cause they're likely going to get it off. Oh wait, no, they don't have a trick room setter. What am I talking about? I saw Glacier and thought trick room. They're going to tailwind. Why do you have a Glacier? Okay, all right, let me let me just do that. Anyways, um, Landorus in the back to eat what's probably going to be a close combat. Mm, nah, nah. I definitely want to bring the Archeops as a thing, but I don't want to bring like two things that can't handle his team. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just roll with it, you know? There it is. So I'm pretty cool with this lead, to be honest. I should be able to go for a Sludge Bomb and... Um... I don't know if I want a Max Strike. I kind of want to just go for an Ice Punch. Maybe I can Max Strike Regieleki. Like, yeah, they can Tailwind me, but I should be able to go for a Burn on the on the Urshifu regardless of what they do. So maybe I will just Dynamax turn one. Let's go for it. Let's do it. I'll just get rid of that thing. I don't mind that it's going to be decreasing my speed with Electro Red, making it so I get undersped, or making so I underspeed the, uh, the boy, but... Ooh, an eject button. Okay. I guess that isn't too bad because I picked up a double KO immediately. Like, what are you going to do about it? What are you, what are you going to do about it? What's your last Pokemon? Glacier? Pff, big doubt. Big doubt. All right. Uh, there's the Tapu Fini. And yeah, they can force me out, but they're just going to forfeit. Awesome. Because I think they noticed that they were going to get burned regardless of what they did since Tapu Fini doesn't have the Misty Terrain. So while that wasn't my greatest showing, uh, it was a W, which I'll take. And right now we're going to face off against a... P2 Gigalith Trick Room team. Notably, they really, really don't like Regigigas once again. I want to bring the Archeops at some point. Archeops is like a, a Pokemon I don't lead off with often, but it's a Pokemon I can bring in the back. Leading with it is usually okay versus like Sand, since I'm going to turn off Sand Rush and stuff, I get a free U-turn. Um, but yeah, I think my last Pokemon here, I'm slightly tempted to go Tapu Fini since it helps out with three of these huge issues, but I think Landorus I got just a bit more out of. Yeah, this should be fine. Um, what I can go for here is a Will-O-Wisp onto the Gigalith, and I feel pretty comfortable just going for this Max Strike on the Rillaboom. Likely going to KO it. If he goes for the Fake Out onto the Weezing, I don't mind it too much. Matter of fact, I might play my cards close to my chest and actually just protect here on what may be a Max Quake. There's the Heatran. Um, I really don't mind that. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp once again, and I can just Max Strike Heatran, considering that was nearly a two-hit KO. I don't need to worry about the Rillaboom coming in to eat the hit. There's no need to make a prediction there when... Heatran takes so much damage from a max strike. As long as I get the similar roll, I should be fine. I should be fine as long as I get a similar roll here. As they try to switch in the P2, a okay. Okay, there's the max strike. And the Will-O-Wisp, please. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's not much they can do now. There's not much they can do now. Let me go for this taunt. And my Dynamax is going to end soon, right? Actually, I don't even need to taunt the P2. Let me just go for a um, Max Strike into it, and I'll go ahead and just go for a Sludge Bomb for damage. Yeah, I'll just get some damage off on you. And we'll Max Strike Porygon, too. Really, I, I think I've punched enough of a hole in their defenses where, like, in the end game, there isn't much they can do to beat the Archeops. Because, like, look what Archeops does to their team. It clicks Choice Band Rock Slide and just takes names. Matter of fact, since Grassy Terrain isn't up, I might be able just to click, like, Choice Band Earthquake and be fine. Yeah, they try to boost their defenses there a bit. Likely gonna go for a fake out into the Regigigas, if anything. So I can go for a Sludge Bomb into their Rillaboom or the Heatran. That's fine. I mean, I can just Stomping Tantrum this thing. Uh, and I will protect here. Go for the, uh, or not Stomping Tantrum. Go for the High Horsepower. I already popped their Balloon, so we're good. I really want to get in this Archeops. That's the thing. Like, I, the whole point is using the Archeops. But if my opponent can't deal with what I have on lead, then I almost never get to use it. I mean, it's whatever. It's whatever. He's likely going to go for the fake out there. Let me go for the sludge bomb as well as the ice punch. Both of these should be fine. You have to choose one or the other to fake out. As he ends up going for neither, which makes no sense to me. There's a high horsepower. It's going to knock me out. But hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? Check this out. Chicken butt. Uh, let me go for a... I can just go choice band rock sled and that'll KO. And switch in the Lando. Get an Intimidate off, make it so I don't take too much from Grassy Glide, but do have to play pretty carefully. Choice Band Rock Slide feels like the play. Even though I could dual wing beat, I think I get more out of the Rock Slide. Considering the flinch chance and stuff. There's the Grassy Glide. We do go into the Fetus range, unfortunately, but eh, we get the flinch. Okay. <laughs> we did go into the Fetus range, which kind of sucked. We'll just Rock Slide again and throw off a off a u-turn on the rillaboom which should allow me to intimidate once more and get in the regigigas get in lando and that should be game they really can't come back from this let me earthquake and high horsepower it doesn't matter if i'm gonna knock out my own reggie we're good we're good matter of fact i'll actually just stall out for a little bit i'll go for rock slide flinches and high horsepower because if i give them a weakness policy they might be able to come back with a crit or something i don't know they have plus one defense i'm just gonna play it safe or i guess i could have earthquake there but it's whatever just earthquake high horsepower we're good yeah i don't know why i like literally just clicked high horsepower as i said i don't want to activate weakness policy but the you know my, my brain was ahead of my other brain <laughs> that makes no sense uh my Brain was ahead of my mouth. It was like, yeah, you want to hit it anyways. Who cares? Just go for the flinch. I don't even know if that made sense. You guys ever have that moment where, like, you say something really dumb, but you do something really smart? That was that was me just then. Maybe. Probably not. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, not a bad game for the Archeops, especially on lead, actually. We'll bring Regigigas in the back, and I think my last Pokemon is going to be the Regieleki here. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do that because I don't care about Intimidate on lead. Oh, yeah, this is going to be uh, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Let me go ahead and go for a Sludge Bomb on the Clefable since Rock Slide and the Sludge Bomb should do it. I think that I might even one shot this Arcanine considering this is Choice Band. It's Choice Band Archeops. I should outspeed it too. Let's see what we get. Rock Slide. Okay, yeah, Archeops. That's cool. That's cool. Just do nothing this whole session. That'd be lit. Just do nothing, Archeops. That'd be lit. Go for a taunt and another rock slide. Dang, that's so disappointing. I wanted to... Dang it. And it's not like Arcanite's too much of a threat. I'm still doing a ton of damage. And I want to taunt the Clefable to make it easier to get in the uh, Reggie. And that should be a two-shot. They get in their Tyranitar, that's fine. Yeah, I would have one-shot the Arcanine, dang it, okay. Um, as I do taunt him, I'll just go for another Rock Slide and a Protect. I should lose my Archeops here as long as they go for their own Rock Slide. Uh, and later on, like if they if they burn a Dynamax here and try to knock out the Archeops, I should be able to just get in the Regigigas and clean up with Max Quake, you know? There's the Protect, hopefully they knock out the Archeops. Go for a rock slide, do an okay chunk considering the burn. A rock fall to knock me out. I'll get in my Regigigas. 
Let me go ahead and go for this. Slightly tempted just to, ah oh, dang, I can't protect the Weezing here, can I? I can go for a burn on the Tyranitar and likely survive. So I'll go for a max strike into Arcanine and burn this Tyranitar. And as long as I connect, I'm good. If, if I can miss a Rock Slide turn one and they can land a Will-O-Wisp turn one, I can do something similar here. I should be able to have luck on my side, right? Not that that's actually how it works, but you know, you know. Hopefully we can see this one through to the end. Max Strike, lower the speed. Will-O-Wisp, please connect, because I want to keep my wheezing. They're still faster, but wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of speed on that Tyranitar. I do connect, though. Interesting. That's more speed than I really thought they would have. Taunt has ended, not that it matters. They're going to get in the Clefable here. Uh, I just protect my wheezing. Oh, no, they're getting Rillaboom. I'll just protect my wheezing still and go for the Max Strike and a Rillaboom. It should be a free hit. Er, not free hit KO. A free KO, uh, considering... They can't really fake out. Yeah. It's a free knockout. And I still have a turn of Dynamax, and Weezing's looking fine. Regieleki, I mean, not the best endgame Pokemon, but it's not like I'm really concerned about Regigigas dropping anytime soon. What's interesting about Regigigas is you're sort of like... You're sort of like forced to stay in with it even when you don't feel comfortable. Because like, oh man, I want to save my Weezing, but it's just not an option most of the time. Like right there, that could have been bad. Uh, unfortunately for them, I'm Choice Specs Regieleki, so uh, I think what I'll do here is I'll just go for a Protect. Uh, maybe I can... Mm. I want to knock out that Tyranitar. I don't think it can really KO me. Not from this range. What's my strongest move without sending me into a situation where I can't attack the next turn? Technically high horsepower, so I'll go for Specs Thunderbolt as, yeah, I just KO. Nice. Hopefully this time, you know, Archeops can actually do something and I don't get super unlucky because that one shot in the, on the Arcanine would have been so cool. Hey, this is an Archeops game. This is an Archeops game because you want to know something? We speed tie with Raichu and that's really all that matters most of the time. That's really all that matters. A lot of the time. That's all that matters. Let me get in the Archeops on lead. Reg, uh, we'll go for the Weezing Regigigas, and I think my last Pokemon kind of... I want to say Regilecki is the best one, and it's going to be really good. Granted, I can avoid uh, setting off the Lightning Rod. Hmm. We'll do it. We'll do that. I might even be able to Dynamax my... <laughs> I might be able to Dynamax my um, Archeops turn one, depending on what they lead off with here as they end up going for this lead, which is a little bit annoying, uh, but I should be able to taunt the Amoongus as well as go for a dual wing beat as they attempt to go for a fake out. Dual wing beat should one shot the Amoongus and taunt is another safe measure for that. As they end up going for a protect, they don't go for a fake out, they go for a reflect, which is a little bit annoying. However, they shouldn't be able to stop this move now. I'll go ahead and taunt the Amoongus once more. I am locked into dual wing beat though, so I'm gonna get in the Regieleki to make sure I don't get nuzzled or anything. So we're gonna taunt here. I suppose their play could be to nuzzle the Weezing and then go for a sleep on the Weezing. As they nuzzle the Regieleki, that's fine. I get my taunt off. Hopefully no mental herb or anything. Go for a clear smog, which is perfectly good. Uh, let me volt switch on you. And I'll protect. As they shouldn't really be going for anything too annoying. Getting the Archeops. I can go for like a Choice Bandit Earthquake or even just the Rock Slide would be fine. There's a clear smog. They definitely don't want to take that hit. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just go for the rock slide. Yeah, we'll go for the rock slide here or even the U-turn. I'm going to U-turn the Raichu and we're going to go for a sludge bomb and that should be safe. As they Volt Switch on me, luckily I don't have Defeatus, so whatever comes in isn't going to enjoy this hit too much. Choice Band U-turn still does a ton of damage. Tapu Lele. Ooh. All right, let's see how much you take. That's a solid amount considering everything. Let me get in the Reggie. And yeah, I have free reign here just to go for, just to go for whatever I really want. Um, I suppose my play would be to knock out the Amoongus, um, but I don't know how many turns of Reflect he has left. What I'll do here is I'll go for a double Protect. I think that's my play. I can go for a Max Quake actually and taunt the Amoongus. That could also be good. I'm just concerned about Scarf. Scarf could be really annoying. I think I'll max Quake and then taunt Amoongus. 
because that might let me live since they don't have Psychic Terrain. I'll Max Quake the Lele and Taunt Amoongus. Because they could Rage Powder. Nope, they just give me that. Taunt the Amoongus. No Spore for you. Awesome, awesome. And they can get in the Kartana here, but they're not safe from Will-O-Wisp. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Max Strike on the Amoongus. It's very safe. Go for the Will-O-Wisp here. I'm going to lower the speed of the Kartana. They haven't Dynamaxed yet, but they can't one-shot anything on my side of the field. There's the Steel Spike. Uh, as long as I connect this Will-O-Wisp, I'll be happy. They get a Speed Drop. Will-O-Wisp you. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And they forfeit. Awesome. Now, I really want this Archaeops to shine. I really want it to shine, so I'm going to try to bring it to as many games as I can at this point, even if it's not optimal. And hold on, this is the Archaeops game. Give me that. Look at all their Rock Slide switch-ins. They have one. They have one Rock Slide switch-in. That's going to be so fun. Let me get the Regigigas in here, and I think my last Pokemon is going to have to be the Tapu Fini. That feels good. That feels real good. I may even Dynamax the Archaeops. <laughs> I may even Dynamax the Archaeops here for the meme. My phone rings. Hello, phone. Nothing too interesting. There's the Urshifu and the Grimmsnarl. Now, luckily, Grimmsnarl doesn't actually have Prankster right now. So I could hit him with the Nene. I could actually hit him with the Nene. You know, this is probably very suboptimal, but I'm going to Dynamax Max Airstream into Urshifu. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and also go for a Taunt on the Grimmsnarl. And hopefully... They don't just, like, Choice Band Sucker Punch me. Hey, let me get the Speed Boost. Stop that Grimstar from doing whatever it wants to do. Because I'm going to be faster now. What are you going for? Hey, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, man. Let me go for the Max Airstream. Let me go for the Sludge Bomb. What is your switching? You have no Max Airstream resist. And this is an Archaeops. Tell me what your switching is. Hold on, this might be solid, man. I, I, I kind of really like the Archaeops lead. Since I don't have to worry about Prankster, Intimidate, anything. Yeah, there it is. There's the forfeit. Awesome. So we got the Archaeops game. That was the game I was looking for. Let's try to get uh, one or two more games. As we face a Trick Room Surfitched team. Um, How do I always stop Trick Room against this boy? I kind of don't. I kind of have to just live with it. But I could make him face an ultimatum. <laughs> I'll go Archaeops Weezing. Because uh, he has to choose who he's going to fake out. If he doesn't fake out the um, Archaeops, he loses his Incinera to a Choice Band Rock Slide. And if he fakes out the Weezing, he doesn't get Trick Room up. So I'm I'm pretty comfortable going with that. Regigigas in the back doesn't seem bad. And I think my last Pokemon is going to be the Tapu Finny here. As they end up going for this lead, which I'm cool with. Let me go for the Choice Band Rock Slide. It's essentially free. I'll try to taunt the Dusclops. Uh, it's likely going to get followed me though, but as long as I get one flinch as I miss the dust clops, I was going to say, if I get one flinch on the dust clops, we're good. All right, uh, that isn't too bad. I can still taunt dust clops, which would be pretty nice. And I'll get in Tapu Fini in case he tries to burn me. I still want to taunt this thing. Because I don't want to switch in like Regigigas on a burn. Let's go for a Moonblast. Get some health back. Um, let me go for a Sludge Bomb, Muddy Water. I don't really need Tapu Fini as long as I can stall at Trick Room. The Nightshade, they shouldn't really have anything to one-shot me. Moonblast, no special attack drop, as they do get the special attack drop, and I miss a very important Muddy Water. That's kind of huge. Um, I'll get in the... I can't get an Archaeops right now. I'll Muddy Water one more time and go for a Sludge Bomb. And then next turn I'll feel comfortable getting in the Archaeops. Those clops are still taunted, and there's the Glacier. Um, what I can do here is... I really want to get an Archaeops, right? Just to sack. They could go for a Max Quake on my Weezing. I think what I'll do is I'll protect the Weezing, which should always let me live. And I'll try to sack my Tapu Fini. And if I can get in the Archaeops for free, I'm Gucci, man. It's awesome. All right, cool. You go for the Hailstorm. I can taunt them. In comes Big Archaeops. In comes Big Archaeops. Or maybe just Big Regigigas. Maybe Big Regigigas is better. And they kind of have to target my Weezing if they want to win. I'm going to Dynamax the Archaeops again and just go for this Rockfall. They kind of have to KO the Weezing if they want to win. So 
So I'm just going to hope that they think I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. And they really shouldn't ally switch here. All things considered, it wouldn't make too much sense because I would just be able to go for a Choice Band Rock Slide. How much is this going to do? About half. Hopefully they end up targeting into the Weezing. Go for the Taunt. And there it is. Awesome. So I'm going to lose the Weezing and I'm stuck with the Regigigas, right? But it shouldn't be too difficult. This shouldn't be too difficult. Let me go for a uh, high horsepower into you. And I should knock him out with a max rockfall. Yep, there it is. Oh, he lived. That is an issue. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let me max airstream the surfetch. That should do it. But if I get into defeatist range, I'm in trouble. Luckily, I'm still choice banded. Uh, my strongest move is dual wing beat because it's 80 versus 75. Hopefully, choice band dual wing beat. Come on, one, two. Pain split. Oh, man, that's taking me into the fetus range. That's not good. Two, pain split again. Nightshade. I lived. I lived and we won. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I think I'm going to call it there. I don't know if I can get any luckier than that with Archeops. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it at any point in time, and subscribe for more Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. But with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.